Welcome to In The Mix with Milan Garcon, where we listen, you're such a homosexual. We laugh. Are we getting that? <laughs> and we learn. That is the gay agenda. And we live for it. And you know we keep it real. Check out In The Mix podcast with Milan Garcon exclusively on Jazz. How has your life changed since Pose has aired and taken the world by storm? You are America's sweetheart. Oh, thank you. No, it's it's one of those moments where it's just like I have to pinch myself over and over and yeah, over. And I'm here with none other than the Angelica Ross. Huh? Come on, star from Pose and executive producer of King Esther. How are you this evening? I am wonderful. You look wonderful. Thank you. I am originally from Cleveland, Ohio, so that is very far from New York City. <laughs> Cleveland. Yes. Hey. <laughs> today to see that I'm a part of a project where I get to write, produce, and direct five trans women of color and their queer black boys of color on this series is awe-inspiring. So no matter where I'm at or no matter what you see me presenting as, just know I am femme of center. So um, that's like an easy way to explain it, you know? Stop. Yeah, okay. I like that. And I like that you said, because when we've talked to you, you say whatever you're getting is what I'm giving and you should take it as that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you always, I'm gonna say ad lib, because I feel like every time you just said lines differently, like however they came to you, however you felt them in that moment, is that something that you do all the time? All the time. I just go right in with what I know, and then they're like, yes, do that. So and then when I went in that time, I didn't even give them the line. I was like, everybody knows this is where you bottoms brunch. And they were like, Harriet! <laughs> they were like, yes, that's it. That's that is candy. <laughs> We are backstage at the Promat Spring Summer 2020 New York Fashion Week Runway Show. Now this is their 10th anniversary, it's a big thing. The craziness backstage New York Fashion Week, for Promat at least, it is so hectic. This is like the biggest, it's their 10 year anniversary. I mean, people have double looks, there are more makeup and hair people than have ever been here before. Stick with me, we're going on a long, quick journey to the runway. 